Jack is outside the lecture hall, you know, he's fidgeting while waiting for the doors to open. He has his pencil, pens, calculator in his hands, and, well, his hands are sweating. It hits 10 a.m., and the door is open. A hundred students flood into the hall and are directed by <clears throat> proctors for seating. This is the SAT, and Jack has already taken this twice, but he is still deathly nervous about it. Because the first time, he he gave up in the middle of it. And the second time, he didn't study at all, so he did poorly on it. And now it's his third time. His third try. He studied all that he could. He did everything that he possibly could. And yet he's still nervous. He still worries about it. Now perhaps this is a little dramatic, you know. But I'm sure all of us have experienced something like this. We've studied for an exam. We've done almost everything that we can to prepare for the exam, but we're still nervous. It's happened to all of us. Maybe it was the SAT. Maybe it was the ACT. Maybe it was a math exam or a driver's test. Or the MCAT, PCAT, or whatever exam that you're gonna take. I'm here to tell you that you can minimize that worry. You can minimize that <clears throat> nervousness, that anxiety that you feel, to the point where you can almost get rid of it entirely. But that's almost. You can't you can't completely get rid of it. But you can't dramatically decrease those emotions. And certainly for me, I was never I was I wasn't born like this. I've had many, many times where I would think over and over about an exam. You know, it's twenty minutes before an exam, I'll just keep thinking about it. After the exam, I would also keep thinking about it for like days. And these thoughts would consume my mind. Like they would drain me so much that I couldn't do anything else properly in a sense unless i ignored the thoughts or drowned the thoughts out with something like video games with like manga anime some, some form of distraction to like not <clears throat> focus on those thoughts and now i don't now i don't have that anymore and it's refreshing it's great it's great to not constantly think about an exam that i took for days I've gotten rid of this like sort of crippling anxiety that I feel, or I used to feel. And you can do it too. And so jumping in like, well, what do you do? You study and do everything you possibly can to prepare for the exam. And you're going to say, okay, yeah, but like that's a lot of work. Of course it is. That's the cost. You don't get free stuff for free. You still have to pay. There's always a cost. If you don't do everything you possibly can for an exam, how can you expect yourself not to worry? It just means that you didn't prepare enough, and now you're, well, you're thinking you're screwed because you didn't spend enough time to prepare. That's natural. Like, you'd be ignorant to walk into an exam room, not study at all, and be confident you're going to do well. That's idiocy, or that's genius level of the witch. You're probably not a genius. On the other hand, what if you're like the type of person who will still worry about the exam even though you've done everything that you can? What if you're that kind of person? I was that kind of person. <clears throat> That's a sort of mindset issue. To solve this, you need to cultivate a mindset that is focused on your actions rather than the results of your actions. I mean, it's really challenging in this day because like, everyone's like, results, bro, results. Where are the grades? Bro, we want this amount of increase. <clears throat> Where are the results? No one focuses really on the processes to get to the results. It's always like, we want a 10% decrease in crime. Get it done. I mean, no one tells you how to do processes, and most people don't focus on processes. Focusing on the action is so much more important because, well, for one, you can't get a result without a process, without an action being done. You just can't. Like, if you really just ignored the process to do certain things, you can't do it. Or you would just crash and burn. So you want to focus on what the, what actions you have done to prepare. Right? Like, I've studied, I've done all the practice problems, I've done everything that I possibly can. Taking into account, like, stress factors and other things. Like, I'm not expecting myself to, like, Memorize an entire book for an exam. It's like, no, that's that's not realistic. But it's to focus on what realistic actions you can do. Am I going to do 
30 pages of practice problems in a day. Maybe I could. Is it realistic? I don't know yet. Never done it before. Let's do it now. 30 pages is a lot though, but it's definitely doable. So you want to cultivate this mindset in like everything you do. You want a good body? Focus on the action to get you there. You want a girlfriend? Focus on the action that will get you there. It's all about the actions that you do. If you can cultivate this mindset, you'll defeat your worry. You have dramatically less worry and anxiety over every exam because you know you've done everything that you possibly can with the mindset of focusing on the action. You've done everything and being indifferent to the results. Like, I've done all this, okay. If I get a bad grade, so be it. If I get a good grade, so be it. That's focusing on the actions and not the results. In the end, you also want to reflect on the exam. Not in the way that you like what you got wrong or whatnot, but like that you managed it, you know? You got through it and <clears throat> that initial like worry and anxiety that you felt at the beginning or even like days before and also days after when scores have been released. Like after that, you're still alive. You're still breathing. You still have all your limbs. Your heart's beating. You're still alive. It felt like you were so. Th it felt like you were threatened. Your very, your very core being was threatened. But you survived. It wasn't as life threatening as it felt it was. And that's anxiety, really. When you pour more and more energy into anxiety, you feel like this is going to end my life in a way. Although you don't really consciously think of it. It's just the feeling magnifies bigger and bigger and bigger until you literally cannot do any action. By focusing on the aspect that you made through it, you made it through, you learn that things are not as bad as they seem. Things are not as bad as they seem. In addition, reflecting back on an exam allows you to see if you could have done more. Right? Not just like hypothetically, like, oh, I could have memorized the entire book. No, you could not have. Right, you could not have. I've said this before. You want to be realistic. Like, could you have done more with that past mindset in that time, the materials that you had? If you could go back in time to that person before without all, any of your future knowledge, could you have done more? Could you have done more? And I'm actually giving it a trick question because it's no. Because if you, if you go back to the past without any future knowledge, you can't do anything. But if you were to go back to the past with... The desire to do more for the exam. Just that desire. Could you do more? An example that I've experienced is that I had a physics exam. Like Nobody likes physics. But I did everything that I possibly could. Like, I used all the study materials that they gave us. I did all the problems. But I still ended up doing poorly. You know, I could have looked up practice problems online. But realistic, that wasn't possible for me not within the time constraints or my mental capabilities at that time like I was just not mentally able to handle all of that with all the stress of other things and what whatnot and also like what I actually like do that like what I actually search up more problems to do hell no bro I would not do that way too inconvenient realistically I would not have done anything else this is being realistic with what you could have done but it can quickly become an excuse, right? You can just quickly be like, oh yeah, I did everything I could have. Yeah, yeah. Even though I spent like three hours on YouTube, two hours every day playing video games. Yeah, I did everything I could. No, you did not. You wanna be honest with yourself. Actually be honest. Most of the time you do not do enough. And this goes back to the first point. You did not do enough. And so you do worry, like it's natural, right? You didn't do enough. If you did do enough, you wouldn't be nearly as worried. Or at least your worry would be decreased. So in total, there are three things that you can do. Do everything that you possibly can <clears throat> to prepare for that exam. That's the most basic one. Number two is change your mindset. Focus on the actions that you will do, not the results. All right, the actions will get you there. Focusing on them will get you there. Focusing on the results, ironically, will not. And thirdly, you want to reflect on everything you could have done and accept that 
There are scenarios where you couldn't have done anything to acknowledge what is in your power and what is not in your power. 